Hey there, my friends across the Western Pacific. You know what? I uh, have a separate update discussing uh, specifically the weather across a few locations in the southern half of the Philippines. A lot of you have been asking about a lot of Patreon members in that area. So if uh, you want to see uh, more about that, you might have noticed it says uh, Cebu Shargrow specific update. Uh, please do check that out. But uh, that is not in place but added information on top of the uh, normal Western Pacific weather updates uh, here today. And you know what? Uh, good news. I, yeah, I'm working on some of this stuff. It's because it's pretty quiet out there. Uh, we are dealing still with the easterlies down here towards the south. We look way, way out here. There is some convection in that area. Now, what I want to show you is nothing to be alarmed about at this point, but it is one of the questions people have been asking me. How about this area in the long-range GFS run? has been trying to pull something. I mean, even if we take a look at Tropical Tidbits and we go over to a different model, you know, it has been trying to develop some sort of storm there for a few days now. Here's the deal, friends. That is 300 hours out, and uh, anybody that takes that specific graphic and posts it and says, this is going to happen, it's highly, highly irresponsible. And um, really, we don't even have an area out there of convection to, to terribly worry about. So... A lot of time. We know what we're talking about today, though, is our shear line back here towards the north. You have that cold surge coming in across Japan, and uh, you might have just seen it there. Visible satellite imagery. You really can see that CFX snowfall slamming into Japan. Now, if you're out here, the tropics down towards Okinawa, Taiwan, what do you care about CFX snow? Well, this is that leading edge of the surge here that's going to be pulling across west of the uh, uh, East China Sea down through northern Taiwan. Heavy snowfall in Japan. All that's going to cruise towards south and collide with the tropics and thus increase the rainfall here for first off northern areas of Taiwan but also uh, stretching down northern Luzon you can see it right in here that surge comes in you got some pretty heavy persistent rainfall in northern Luzon this is separate from our trough which is bringing some scattered showers towards the south and um, yeah it's gonna be setting up some uh, pretty decent rain especially east of the Sierra Madre Mountains now typical for this time of year but still something to watch out for then we have another low by the way tuesday and the wednesday is going to move across okinawa it might could be a nice little southern coast low for uh central areas of japan and that's going to set up another cold surge on its wake so yeah tropics are quiet for the time being all because of the shear in this cold air and you can see over the weekend you have that cold wave that's going to try to set up watch as we go ahead through sunday the monday here comes our next storm system you can even see in the temperature gradient right in there a little bit of warm air advection comes across okinawa so by tuesday actually get a little bit of warm air right there and then watch behind it it kicks off our next round of that cooler air spilling in from the north and that's going to set up a nice shear line mid part of next week that is going to increase that rainfall but for now heading through the weekend it really is the northeast coast of luzon that sees some of the heaviest of this precipitation before that next cold surge kind of kicks on through so yeah that's what we're looking at for now actually take a little bit of closer look at the forecast so you can see what i'm talking about with that precip mainly being east of the sierra madre mountains a few isolated afternoon showers but nothing too crazy at this time but the rain does nothing too crazy in the more populated areas i should say a lot of rain i mean look at this this is uh, indicating uh, this is in meters so that's 200 nearly 250 actually let's go ahead and we can even move this around here let's scoot this down look at that that's upwards of 300 millimeters in some of the mountains there i mean my goodness that's a lot of rain uh, but it does stay east uh east of the uh the Cagayan valley but boy a lot of precip in the forecast let's do our fly over in deval 34 degrees Cagayan de Oro at 30 degrees there for you taklaban at 29 remember i said i have a separate update for some of these areas here in the southeastern areas besides northeast mindanao uh, all things that monsoon trough you are seeing those scattered showers but um, nothing organized, mainly afternoon to evening. Manila is a high of 31. Well, we start looking at all that rain in northeast Luzon. As I just mentioned, some of it is getting over towards the Cagayan Valley, but the really, really heavy stuff stays east of the Sierra Madre Mountains. But Saturday and the Sunday, you are still seeing these scattered showers. It will start to back off a bit Monday to Tuesday ahead of that next low and the next surge that's going to scoot in from the north. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. If you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. And um, yeah, big shout out to everybody on Patreon. Continues to support this channel. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys posted. There's no tropical activity, and typically I wouldn't post anything if things are quiet. But you know what? Doing my best to keep you all posted.
stay safe out there. And as always, thanks for watching. All right.